Hey Francis, are you progressive? Of course, can't you see I'm transitioning? Good point. So, as a progressive, how would you feel if a single person controlled all the information in the world and decided what we're allowed to say and think? Yes, Twitter is a private platform that should censor people who don't agree with me. That does sound very progressive. What if I told you this person has built two million electric cars to fight climate change? Yes! What if I told you he's African-American? Yes! Diversity is our strength! Well, I have good news for you. Elon Musk wants to buy Twitter. No! Five minutes later. <laughs> thousands of tears later. Well, what if he stopped censoring people I don't agree with? Well, Twitter is a private platform. What? You said it yourself. Twitter is a private platform that can decide who to censor. Yeah, but I didn't fucking mean it. That's just something we say to win. But he's a good guy. He was even a vegetarian for a while. So was Hitler. Well, isn't it great to have an African-American in charge? You know, for diversity. You call this diversity? A straight white man who believes in free speech? I know he gave his kid a gender non-binary name, but unless he identifies as a transracial lesbian who agrees with everything I say, this isn't good enough. But he openly criticised Donald Trump over climate change and he's donated to the Democrats. I don't care. He's worse than Hitler. He said pronouns suck and criticise woke people. Well, you are right. Even Adolf never went as far as making fun of pronouns. So, do you have a progressive solution to the Twitter problem? Yes, it should be owned by someone who agrees with everything I say and who is kind and respectful. Like who? BlackRock, Morgan Stanley and the Saudi royal family. That's who owns it now. Exactly. Progress is about keeping things just the way I like it. Uh, this is Elon Musk. Hey guys. So. Uh, 